Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And she's pissed. I am. Not necessarily because Ariel has been cast uh, as as uh, African American singer Halle Bailey, but because of the trend. Yeah, I the mean the trend of ginger extermination. It, I, first of all, I'm talking about real redheads. Um, a lot of people aren't real redheads. They dye their hair or whatever, and that's fine. But for whatever reason, they just the redheads keep getting appropriated into other characters. I don't. I honestly knew they were going to do this. This has not surprised me one bit because they were talking about Zendaya for a while doing it. And at first, I didn't care. I was like, you know what? I don't really don't care. It's fine. I, I didn't care about the Bo issue either. The only thing I cared about Bo was because they made him, his, him so fucking annoying. It wasn't because he was black. Um, this is just, you know... <sighs> I didn't care at first. And then Squid King put up the point. He's like, how come every other princess got to keep her, their look the same? They were still themselves. But Ariel, Ariel had to be, you know, changed. And there is a reason why she has red hair. We're going to talk about that in a minute. There, people are like, well, you're just mad because, you know, she didn't have red, red hair. It doesn't matter. It's just her red hair. No, there was actually a reason why Ariel was a redhead. There's actually a reason. We'll talk about that in a minute. Mo I was mostly mad because I'm like, here we go. Yet another effing live action film. It's like, can you not, can you stop doing the live action films and do something original, please? For the love of God. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah, Disney is milking their princesses. They're they milking are, their yeah, princesses. which is not allowed. I'm just saying, you know what, Disney, for F's sake, you guys keep screwing up and dropping the ball. Maybe if you stopped rehashing everything and started making new things that were actually decent, you wouldn't be in trouble. I'm just saying. Before you get all butt hurt about Geeky going off about uh, redheads, you probably wonder, uh, what stake she actually has in this? Geeky herself is a an actual natural redhead. I will verify okay, yeah. that she is, uh, and she was talking about it on Twitter yesterday because people were asking her opinion as a ginger, as actually a a red hair, blue eyed ginger, which is the rarest of gingers. Okay, first of all, redheads on, worldwide only make one or two percent up of uh, you know the population. Red hair, blue eyed gingers are the rarest, and Ariel had red hair and blue eyes. And there's a reason for this, which I'll get into in a bit. Yep. But it just seems to me there is a trend to ruin redheads. And you keep taking them and making them into other, not just even just race behind them, they keep taking them and casting other actresses with different color hair as the leads. It's not just race behind. They've done it with other characters too that aren't even in this article. Yeah. Um, this actually was the parody article, wasn't it? They it were was kind of being a smart ass about it. And this was from basically they're like, Quit bitching about all the gingers uh, being turned into darker skinned people. But they only target gingers, it seems. It seems that way. I mean, I'm look, I'm you know, at first I thought, well, maybe people were overreacting. And you start to go through it and you start to realize, and this is from 2015. And there have been so many more since then. Of course, Zendaya's Mary Jane is the latest example of race bending redheads. And it's awesome. There's no ginger discrimination here. Get one of bat your last paragraph says otherwise. Yeah, so we have all these characters that have uh, suddenly gone from being gingers, which make up 2% of the population, uh, to being African American, who make up 13 or 14% of the population. She says here at the end, you think about it, comics have actually been overrepresenting the redheaded population for decades, specifically with regards to female love interests in reality. Only two to six percent of the United States are natural born redheads. Actually, it's I think it's lower than that. No, it might be in the U.S. It's like one to two percent worldwide. There are more in the U.S. I think. Yeah. Uh, as comic adaptations commit to diversifying their lineup without creating new characters, then this is this kind of casting is going to keep happening. So you might as well get used to it. No, I don't have to kiss my butt. And this was three years ago. After all, why should only white gingers get to see themselves as desirable? Face it, Tiger, it's 2016, it's time for an update. Why Why? Ta why? Why is it have to be redheads? Why can't they go appropriate other characters? Because this is appropriation. Why can't they go appropriate other characters? And people are like, well, you're Caucasian, so that's not a race thing. Well, actually, redheads are genetically different yes. than the re mess and then other Caucasians. Just so you know, technically we aren't the same. Just, just so you know. Yeah, there's actually a lot of, uh, if you look into it, natural born redheads, there actually is a lot of genetic differences uh, there's a mutation in, in natural. I'm a world. mutant. She's a mute. Oh, like the X Men. Yeah. She's Jean Grey. Are they gonna make Rogue something different now? I, I know. Both, don't you touch Rogue? I mean, they don't need as much vitamin D. You can you can uh, make your own right, vitamin we can't, D. The sun's not our friend. It'd be like if a plant could just photosynthesize itself. You're, That's right. Uh, Redheaded women handle pain better. It's true. I do. Had actually. a ten pound baby. Mm-hmm. And so didn't think, scream once. No. Uh, they it know, hurt though. It they, really did. <laughs> They know when it's getting cold. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, you get cold. Uh, red is the hardest color to fake. 
They are all white. That is true too. That is interesting. Redheads are popular in commercials. And redheads are funnier. There you go. Factual. No, I'm serious. We, I'm tired of this. It's like, you know, there's definitely a trend to take away redheads. And I'm not talking just race bending redheads. I'm saying they take redheads and they make them different hair colors and, and things as well. It's not just. Well, Lana Lang in, in Superman. Yeah. Uh, they did, even with, I didn't even realize I was going through a list of, of recent, more recent characters that have been de-gingered. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll call it de-gingered. They've been de-gingered. Batwoman or Batgirl in the Lego Batman movie mm -hmm. was de-gingered. Well, the they don't have her as that way in the show either. No, and, and uh, well, yeah, and Bat, Batwoman. Oh, Batwoman. Okay, yeah, Batgirl. she's got a red wig. She's fake. It's not even real. It's fake red. She's fake. But still, it's like, you know, we're, yeah, you are seeing this trend. I think, you know, I mean, was it kind of over the top with the redheads in comics? I think it's because it's comic books. I think it was. And it's bright red hair. It stands out on the page. It, it sets that character apart. You know, but it's like, you know, the solution is not to take every redhead and de-ginger them. Here's what's ho what sucks about it, too. Redheads, uh, historically, have not been treated well to begin with. Historically, they've been feared, we've been killed, we've been sacrificed. Um, there are sayings out there, you know, of course, all redheads are tramps. And um, you, you heard that redhead stepchild. They're, you know, we, get, we don't exactly get treated well to begin with. So, I mean, saying, well, you deserve it because, you know, you're white. Well, no, what has historically been treated w not well at all? So, yeah, look here. Legends that link vampires with red hair and, and Judas. Judas. They portrayed Judas as a redhead because he was bad. Um, they also have Lilith always portrayed as the demon with red hair because she was considered, you know, pretty and, and sensual. So she had red hair. Um, they often use redheads. They, they, they used to sacrifice redheads. Um, Witchcraft. Yeah, Egyptians sacrificed them by burying them alive to, to avoid They always made the jokes that they couldn't have, you know, that's what's funny. They're doing the Red the Pirate in the new, uh, they're talking about doing that for Pirates of the Caribbean. Redheads weren't allowed, women were bad luck on ships, and redheads were extra bad luck on ships. People just hate redheads. Historically speaking, redheads were not treated well. We were tied to witchcraft and everything else. Oh, they're burning all these ginger witches. Right, so I'm saying... First of all, redheads have not been treated well to begin with. We've had a lot of shit thrown our way too, thank you very much. And then we have, when we do have characters, you're taking all the redhead characters away. Like you personally have a vendetta against us too. Hasn't history done enough to us already? Well, now some cultures worshiped redheads. Well, which as, I'm gonna get to that, go ahead. As gods. Yes, which is why Ariel has red hair. Because if you go to the next one I, put, I gave you, okay. Redheads in Greek culture were considered, you know, there are a lot of godlike things in red hair, which is why Ariel was given red hair, most likely because Triton is the Greek god from the sea. So the redheads, we go up to here, let me show you. They're talking about, um, they talk about redheads are first mentioned in literature by Greek poet Xenophanes or Xenophanes whatever. I don't know how you say it. I can't remember. In his work, he describes how back then people typically created their gods in their own image. And therefore, the Thracian gods had blue eyes and red hair because Thracians had a lot of redheads. Um, the Thracian graves have the description Rufus, which we get the word redhead. Party on, dudes. Yeah, that's right. So they're talking about how they talked about uh, there's a large, powerful nation of red hair with blue eyes. Because we're rare, but we're mighty. And today you visit the Acropolis Museum in Athens, you'll find several statues that contain their, their color hair of ginger women. In ancient time, the hair of female statues was mostly painted red. Now, part of it was because it liked red and it was limited color palette. But they also, the ginger hair was admired in ancient Greece because it was associated with honor and courage. And they talk about Homer's Iliad describing the characters, both heroic and ancient Greece, as redheads. And Helena Troy and the Iliad and the Odyssey having ginger tinge. So they talk about Aphrodite, ancient god of love, beauty, and sexuality, and fertility, was said to possess the, the mutated gene as well, was redhead. So Greeks, on the other hand, they said that ancient Greeks thought the redheads turned into vampires when they died, which is the bad side. But they often used uh, red wigs. They often portrayed their gods and stuff with red hair, which is probably why they gave Little Mermaid red hair. Because I was like, why would they give her red hair? That's a really odd choice. No, there was a reason for it. Because red hair was associated with courage, honor, and gods in Greece. Yeah, so this is actually Ginger Parrot. This whole article, or this whole site is about gingers. And they put an article up here. Let's, should we look at this? About that. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, this whole site is in defense of gingers. I didn't even the see 2 this. 2% of the population. So let's see what they have to say. Disney's Little Mermaid real life remake to star Ginger. Oh, Singer. No, I can't read the thing. Uh, Halle Bailey as Princess Ariel. In an unexpected twist, it was announced that Disney will recast Ariel as uh, Halle Berry. 
Bailey, I'm sorry. I keep thinking Hallie. Hallie well, ba- they said, too, that, that she's a simple ginger pride since 89, because usually Little Mermaid is portrayed blonde, she which is. is true. She usually is portrayed blonde. Yeah, so Ginger Parrot, uh, a ginger a phobic site or ginger focus site no Not sorry. phobic sorry everybody else is ginger phobic they're ginger focused a ginger focus site is uh not happy that ariel who is are they, are they saying that i didn't get to read it so yeah there's much discussion and debate on social media around these announcements everyone has their idea of ariel they're saying it's good to change things and up. how she should look uh it's refreshing to change things up they don't want to be they don't want to be... Well, they're going to dye her hair red, most likely. Hopefully. At least they do that. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't care. If they, if they dye her hair red and they keep her redhead, then I'm fine with it. As long as they keep her red hair. Yeah, I think it's just... It's... You know, people... I, I guess it's the thing. Like, people don't want to come out and say, why are you doing this? Because it's... Then you'll be racist. You're go, you're going to be racist. They'll, they'll say you're racist because you don't want all the gingers to suddenly become... But there is definitely a trend. There's change definitely gin- a trend. And it's not just to race bend gingers. Like I said, it's they're just changing uh, changing gingers in other ways, too. It's not just a race bending thing. Lana Lang and, yeah, and Smallville. Yeah, right, which we mentioned. You know, I'm just saying, I mean, it's just, I'm not blaming it on race bending at all because they're not the only ones doing this. Um, I'm just like, stop hating on the redheads. We've had enough shit throughout history. So just give us a break already. You know, everybody goes, but representation matters. I agree. Representation does matter. I ta- 100% agree with you on that. But I don't think it's fair that my daughter who has red hair and blue eyes doesn't have Disney princess because you're going to, you know. So I hope to God they at least give her the red hair. Yeah, I th- I mean, if they can't give her red hair, that's a complete that's a complete fail. I mean, I think people are going to be really, I mean. They expect- if they give her the red hair, I'm not going to be that upset about it. Yeah. But stop taking redheads away. Just stop picking on us for whatever your damn reason. I honestly didn't care at first that she was they were gonna make her a, a black actress. Cause I, I, I really didn't have no problem with Zendaya either. I thought she could pull it off really well. But she's got the voice for it. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying make sure they have red hair. At least make sure that they have the red hair. And stop taking redheads away and saying we deserve it for some reason. We historically are, the, are, are a very small amount of people, and we've put up with a lot of shit over the years. So please stop dishing it out to us more. So says Geeky Sparkles, natural red hair, natural Damn. red hair and all. Uh, she actually looks more like everyone. For the gingers. For the she's doing it for the gingers. For the everybody. real gingers. If you dye your hair red, that's okay, cool too. But I'm talking about the people that are real gingers because we've been mistreated our whole lives. So. I got, I, 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 that's not untrue. When I was in elementary school, I know I have to go because I have to go somewhere here in a few minutes. But I was in elementary school. Um, I spent a couple months in elementary school in my sixth grade year and no one would speak to me. And no one would speak to me because they singled me out because I was, I had, I, there was like, like two or three redheads in the whole school. My sister was one, I was one, and there was another little girl. And we were in a small class. So no one talked to me because I, they decided just to not talk to me for no reason. And it was because I had, I was chubby and I had red hair. And I'm not joking. It's because I had red hair. So I'm like, I have definitely a personal vested interest in how redheads are mistreated. So you know what? Bite me. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news and rants here on Clownfish TV. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.